Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the polar plot, a different problem. Look at the problem. Here, the open loop transfer function having e power minus s. Up to now, we discussed about the, the pole at origin and pole at zeros. If the pole is a finite pole is added at the uh, transfer function and if the finite zero is added, then such type of problems we are discussing. We are discussed. But here a new problem is there that is e power minus s is the problem. So this is also the same procedure here first you convert into the frequency model that is g h of j omega g h of j omega equal so in place of yes just minus j omega here j omega and j omega plus 1 okay so e power minus j omega is look like this so generally e power j theta what 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 is e power j theta generally we have one thing e power j theta we should convert into e power j theta model so generally any polar plot the polar coordinates are like this r into e power j theta what is e power j theta here j theta represents the phase the phase is theta what about magnitude magnitude represents r then it is the phase and the magnitude for this e power j theta we can write so in that's why we should convert into like like that model so here we have the term is e power minus j omega that will be converted like this e power j minus omega e power j minus omega for this the magnitude the magnitude equal to 1 and what about the phase here the phase equal to minus omega phase equals to minus omega understand right so for that model we should convert like this so what about first we should find out the magnitude for this so what is the magnitude magnitude of this plot that means look at here for this e power minus j omega magnitude value is directly 1 so this is the 1 is the magnitude what about this this is the omega what about this this is omega square plus 1 omega square plus 1 okay this is the magnitude equation what about phase the phase equal for this e power minus j omega the phase value is directly he is given that is the minus omega for this j omega the phase is plus 90 if it goes to numerator then it will become the minus 90 this phase is j omega plus 1 then if it goes to tan inverse of omega by 1 tan inverse of omega by 1 okay so generally it is in omega format so we can modify like this the phase should convert into the degrees omega equal i will multiply with 180 and by the 5 then it will become into the degrees and the minus 90 and tan inverse of omega tan inverse of omega this is the phase okay so this is the magnitude m value and this is the phase value we are getting right so first we should find out omega equals 0 so first you should find out at omega equals 0 what is the magnitude you substitute in the omega equals 0 omega equals 0 1 by 0 0 plus 1 so 1 by 0 the magnitude will become infinite magnitude become infinite next what about phase if you substitute the phase value substitute a phase 0 here this become the 0 and minus 90 and minus 90 uh, 0 so finally this become the 90 so otherwise you will write here don't confuse here so magnitude is 1 the phase phase is this substitute 0 into minus 180 by 5 it is the 0 and minus 90 and tan inverse of 0 is 0 so the phase is become the minus 90 
so therefore therefore we have the polar plot infinity at an angle of minus 90 infinity at an angle of minus 90 at frequency equal to 0 this is at the frequency equal to 0 infinity at an angle of minus 90 All right next next at frequency equal infinite substitute the frequency equal infinite here so this is infinite again this is the infinite. directly we have the magnitude sorry so magnitude equal 1 by infinite 1 by infinite plus 1 1 by infinite overall what is the value the magnitude equal to 0 magnitude equal to 0 what about phase phase the substitute here infinite this become minus infinity 90 90 90 like that so we will have the minus infinite the phases have minus infinite okay so at ending direction we don't know the phase we don't know the phase so generally in order to analyze this we completely know so just we go for the starting direction and ending direction next step so what about ending direction initially ending direction is nothing but phase at zero frequency minus phase at infinity frequency phase at zero frequency is minus 90 phase at infinite frequency is and uh, this this is finally what we can write at frequency equal infinite and magnitude zero at an angle of minus infinite zero at an angle of minus infinite this become minus 90 this become minus 90 and infinity is minus of minus infinity minus 90 plus infinite what is this so infinity so we should shake the infinity minus something always positive angle so this is the positive positive means that means it is clockwise direction clockwise direction what about starting direction the starting direction what is the given plot given plot is e power minus s by s into s plus 1 just observe here just given plot equal to g h of s equal to e power minus s by s into s plus 1 remove this the pole at origin pole at origin so so pole is nearer to the imaginary axis that's why we have that's why we have a pole nearer to imaginary axis imaginary axis that's why it is also have clockwise direction clockwise direction so finally these ending direction is clockwise direction and starting direction is also the clockwise direction and before drawing this we have zero and infinity and it doesn't have which, which is entering which phase it is a infinite phase this is the problem this is the problem magnitude is zero but we don't know it is entering in the which phase for that purpose we should take some table the table is just you take the frequency value and we should take the magnitude value and we should take the phase value we should take the frequency magnitude and the phase values here first apply the frequency is zero you will have magnitude infinite the phase is minus 90 so if you apply the frequency is one you will have magnitude is 0 0.707 and you will get the phase value is minus 192 now what about second the second case it is 0.22 and you will get the phase is minus 267 so if you increase the frequency up to infinite up to infinite you have the zero magnitude and the frequency is the minus infinity so it will infinity frequency you have the minus infinity frequency so we don't know actually it is dark but approximately we can draw like this so just take it the positive imaginary axis and 
this is the real axis this is the real axis real axis positive side this is the real axis negative side this is the imaginary axis positive side and this is the imaginary axis negative side so look at here first you draw the starting because ending doesn't have starting is zero at an angle of minus infinity at infinity at an angle of minus 90 you know that it is at minus 90 and what is the direction starting direction starting direction is the clockwise direction so clockwise direction that means maybe infinity at an angle of minus 90 means i will take like this and it is the clockwise means this this state clockwise means this state if it is anti clockwise if it is anti clockwise then it will become like this if it is anti clockwise this will become like this but it is clockwise that's why i am taking like this so he it is in clockwise direction so it will start from here and it will go clockwise direction and it reaches the imaginary axis and it will rotate and it omega equal, initially it is minus 90 but omega equal 1 it will reach minus 192 at omega equal 2 it will reach minus 260 somewhere there and it will continuously moving it will continuously moving like this continuously moving and we don't know here it is minus infinite and it will reach the zero the final point is zero only that is omega equal infinite it will reach the zero magnitude the initial point is frequency equal to zero but we don't know at which direction it is entering we are taking an approximately the direction is like this we are taking the approximate direction is like this so it is starting from here it is going the clockwise direction so that's why i will choose this and it will continuously continuously decreasing the magnitude and at finally at infinity at infinity frequency it will reach the magnitude zero and we don't know at which phase it is entering and we don't know at which phase entering so this is the polar plot of the polar part of the whenever an exponential term is given to the circuit whenever the exponential term is given to the circuit so whenever this model is given so you have to follow this procedure okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you